So, day three. Um, I wanted to do this song, and I still don't have the equipment yet to be able to actually play the piano and have you hear it. Um, but I will use the uh, track that I have on my computer as the backing track from when I've recorded it before. Um, and I'm just going to sing this song to you as the sun comes out for a brief second there, which is wonderful. Um, that's called Losing It. Now, it may seem like having a title of Losing It when you're doing a campaign for something to do with mental health just seems a little insensitive. But actually, I think that people maybe have this impression that they need to pussyfoot around people who get depression or anxiety, as though we're, in, we're sort of sensitive flowers and can't cope, which just isn't true. Um, if anything, it's because we've been fighting, 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 fighting to achieve something, and things are still not working out. And the point that, at which you feel, not only do you not have a control over the things that you want to have control over in order to create something or do something you want, but you also feel a sense of things just kind of looming over you because the weather's so bad and it feels really dark and miserable and gloomy. And maybe then you have, you know, something in your head that just sometimes clicks over through no fault of your own, through no even action of your own seemingly, that just starts to give you those thoughts that run through your head of saying, yeah, you're a bit crap really. This is just always going to be the way it is. It's going to always be crap. And it starts to chip away at you and it doesn't take much, you know, you have a threefold thing there. That could be enough to just make you feel like it's all hopeless. So I wrote the song when I was really just trying to get back into that sense of fighting back. Um, but, you know, saying how it is. And as part of that, um, I also had a, there's a chorus in there that's, it's quite grandiose, kind of ridiculous, um, overly dramatic uh, way of perceiving things. But it is that sometimes your brain just gives you that little thought and it's before you've had time to edit it, that's sort of what comes into your mind. So this is my song to kind of counteract all of that stuff and remind myself that yes, maybe we've seen this song very little lately and maybe that will continue on through January, but I'm still fighting, just like everyone else. So the song is called Losing It. Eighty-seven days in the UK And I've seen about five days of sun Getting out the blue light to counteract it But odds are a thousand to one So you tell me as I show you all my days of effort that None of them count So I'm taking myself and my flouncy dress the hell out cause I'm losing it Yeah, I'm losing it Pull me down, pull me down What is this? Some kind of survivor test Pin me down, pin me down How can I possibly be at my best? Get me a lawyer, get me a coach Get me the hell out of here What is the crime that I've committed To get a sentence so severe? Eighty-seven days and I'm okay, but I could use a hug And a plan to get me to New York City that really could be done Because miracles can happen and I've been working on creating one But the hoops that I've jumped through and the films I've been in just just aren't enough, so I'm losing it. Yeah, I'm losing it. Pull me down, pull me down. What is this? Some kind of survivor test. 
pin me down, pin me down. How can I possibly be at my best? Get me a lawyer, get me a coach, get me the hell out of here. What is the crime that I have committed to get a sentence so severe? Eighty-seven days in the UK and I'm, I'm moving on Got my knee-length boots and my pink lipstick and I'm focused on not losing it Or not I'm not losing it I'm not losing it So that was my video of my song that I wrote at the time and that was my feelings at the time um, and I don't profess to speak for anyone else even though with um, this whole campaign I've been inspired by other people I've met who are creative people who are doing music or writing um, or filmmaking and there are lots of people I've come across who for one reason or another at some point in their lives have struggled with feeling um, depressed or feeling anxious a lot and really struggling with their feelings at the same time as struggling to do the work they really want to create and I can only speak for myself with my experience of going through depression of struggling with my feelings even in you know relatively comfortable circumstances at least for the next few months I've got a lovely place to live um, and the sunlight does actually come into this room as you can tell um, when the Sun decides to shine it's wonderful I get plenty of light I don't have tiny windows I have a really big window here so it's great and yet there are still moments when my brain likes to tell me it isn't my brain likes to tell me you're shit you're wasting your time you're never gonna achieve the stuff you want to achieve all of those things that come up um, so as I say, I only speak for myself, but I want to use that to be able to just highlight this situation um, and, and raise money for, for a charity that helps people that go through that stuff, which I think is only fair enough really. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. By the time we get to February, I want to have lots of money to give these people so that mind can be just, can have their minds blown at the fact that I've earned loads of money for them um, on the basis of getting people to donate and uh, get behind this cause. So let's see what we can do. Onwards and upwards. <laughs>